Okay, hello, this is Dr. Janes, and today I'm going to talk about how to make the bass effect on your electric guitar. Let's say you want to, you know, play a track for a bass, maybe you're recording some stuff, and, and all you got is your electric guitar here, you don't have a bass, and, uh, well, you want to use Audacity to try to make this sound like a bass. We'll, we'll show you how to do that. So, of course, the first thing you need is, uh, you have this type of jack on your guitar, right? This jacks into your guitar here. And uh, then you need some kind of adapter like this. Let's, let's take a look down here. So, here's our guitar jack. And we need this adapter because our computer has tiny little plugs down here. Oh, that's probably too dark down there. Anyway. The computer's got a little banana jack like that, and uh, so we gotta hook these things together to adapt the uh, quarter inch to the eighth inch. I actually have a little plug on the front of the computer down here. This is the mic in, so we'll put that into the mic in of the computer, and uh, we should be all set to go. Now, of course, the first thing we're going to have to do is uh, load up Audacity. And so we have Audacity mm, down here. Okay. And uh, Audacity is a great free program. It's got some buggy stuff. It's been doing some buggy stuff today, but there's workarounds for that too. Okay. So you have to get all this set up. You have to tell it, for instance, in here, which mic mic input, because there's there's a couple mic inputs I have on the computer. Some are in the back, some are in the front. And so I have that all set up in the levels. I am using mic input because the pickups on a guitar are about the same level as a mic input and um, you can set the record level and a uh, bunch of other fun stuff here and uh, you want to get all that set right and then you hit record okay and it will start recording what you play on the guitar and so then we'll st start playing our little bass line Mission Impossible bass line and then we'll hit the stop button and uh, I've been having a little bit of problems sometimes it doesn't like the playback we'll, we'll try it so is it gonna work now okay it's gonna work now okay, I'll just let it play to the end because it's a little bit finicky sometimes Let's uh, let's export that audio. Saving saves the project in Audacity format, but when you export it, it exports it as a uh, a, uh, a MP3 file that you can play on other things. Base, we'll call this base high one. Okay, and we'll save that because you never know what's going to happen. So that's how you save the files. Now let's um, let's do an effect on this. Typically, uh, an electric bass is about one octave lower than um, than the uh, electric guitar. So we're going to do change pitch. That's under effect. Change pitch. And uh, here's what the initial pitch is. And I'm not sure how it chooses these. And then here's the final pitch. This is the octave here and the and the note. So if you want to go down a full octave, you have to change this, or if you only want to go up like, you know, a fifth or a third or whatever, you can change the notes here. So let's, let's go down one octave, okay? And we'll see that, the, the waveform changed here. And uh, let's play it, see how it sounds. Sounds like a real bass now, doesn't it? Mission Impossible. Alright, we're rocking now. 
Anyway, this is uh, Dr. Janes, and thanks for watching.